Now the client number five. So they are the one of the top vehicle providers. So the vehicle fuel providers in the country and they have their own fuel cards uh, with the different features. So they have a multiple fuel cards like what we get from our banks. We have the credit card, multiple credit card. So they are actually have a multiple features of the fuel cards. So they sell it to the customers and then they can refill whenever they want and they want to monitor all those activities, the card status and the customer status. So they have a report available from Snowflake to Power BI Direct Query, which they have already built and which is taking like two to three minutes to load the report and they want to speed up the report and they also need a good architecture setup for the future Power BI uses. So that's the requirement. And how the data structure right now is they have multiple different applications and they get those data from that and then store it into Snowflake as a kind of warehouse. And from Snowflake, they have built a separate views and that view is being consumed in Power BI. So that was the structure. And what the experience we have faced is they are using a multiple custom applications and they already set up a pipeline to transfer the data from that applications to Snowflake. And they also built a separate warehouse in Snowflake for data analytics. We have created master data flows. So the architecture, what we have defined is we told them that if this is going to be that way, the snowflake to power BI as a direct query, then every time whenever the user get access, we had to query to seek snowflake. So snowflake is not a free one. It is actually charging per transaction. So every time we do any kind of interaction, it transact the data and they're going to charge us. So it's going to be a high cost. And also, if you start to build the report directly connecting from Snowflake, then it's not going to be a single source of truth. So someone will create another data silos and then build the report on top of that. So the proposal what we have and we have also implemented like, like you create a master data flows for the customer master, vendor master and date master and also the fact master. We bring all the data into the data flow and then we did the incremental refresh for that so that we don't need to uh, refresh every time the bulk data. And they build the base data set with all the related images. So whatever the metrics they want, we have built everything in the base one single data set. And then we share this base data set to the other business people so that they can build the report on top of that. And it is certified data set, so they are aware of that. And also not only that, we also build the base report so that they can just have a look into the base information. And if they want to build something customizable on top of that, they can also build through that. And also we have set up the multiple workspaces for deployment pipeline, like we have implemented the deployment pipeline feature uh, as they have used here. Like we have the, like, uh, they have the Power BI premium per user license and we have implemented that they have multiple workspaces for development, test and prod. And the challenges what we faced is at the did the base work and the knowledge transfer had some issues. The middleman, which is obviously the client business uh, analyst, uh, had created a conference document with all the details of the report all about and the purpose of each and every measure. Because this report contains approximately like 50 measures what we have built. And so it is not easy to define that. So the business analyst from the company has actually helped a lot so that we can define everything in a conference document. With this approach, we have reduced the cost of data load from Snowflake to Power BI. That's a big plus for the company. And we have successfully completed the project in the, within four months of period.